Not everyone digs underground movies, but those who do can dig them here. This is The Bridge in New York, one of several small theaters around the country where underground films are shown. And their devotees range from serious students of cinematography to the society swingers of the jet set. But what is an underground movie? The subject almost defies description. Like any art, cinema has the narrative aspect and the poetic aspect. And the uh, so-called underground filmmakers are exploring the poetic aspect of cinema. Jonas Mackis is the founder of a filmmakers cooperative in New York that distributes underground films. And this is one of the filmmakers at work, Piero Helitzer, who says he was once the Jackie Coogan of Italy. He's shooting a film titled Dirt in 8mm color with the help of a musical group called The Velvet Underground. Some underground films have been criticized for dealing too frankly with such themes as sex and nudity, but many movies such as this one may simply seem confusing. It isn't really big business yet, but some filmmakers are able to make a living from their work. It costs from $100 to $10,000 to produce a film. There are no reliable figures on the number of movie makers, but the New York Cooperative has 110 members. Another example is Stan Brackage, who says his films are for viewing in a living room rather than a theater. Could you give me an idea about the kind of thing that you're doing? Well, for instance, I've just finished a portrait of a friend of mine, poet Michael McClure, and uh, I tried very hard in that uh, portrait to, uh, to get not only the sense of the man, as I know personally, but some sense of his poetics. And here's the result, a poet as seen by a movie maker. That's one kind of underground film. But many kinds have been shown here at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. The screenings have attracted large audiences. Willard Van Dyke is director of films for the museum. I think that aside from the fact that they exist and are interesting to look at and do affect people's emotions, some of them, there is the possibility that there are new techniques that are being explored and that other people can, other filmmakers can benefit by those techniques. One of the most publicized of the underground films is Sleep by pop artist Andy Warhol. Some critics praise it because it is so basic without distractions. Six and a half hours of a man sleeping, nothing else. <laughs> Andy Warhol not only uses film, but also videotape. At this party, he just lets his camera observe. The center of attention is his superstar, Edie Sedgwick, who says she left her society background in California to find herself in New York. She has no acting background, but that doesn't matter, because in Warhol's film, she just moves and talks as she pleases. Edie talked with Peter Burns. Well, how does your family feel about your being in these movies? Um, ah, <laughs> they, they hate it. They, uh, they're terrified. They think I'm just beyond belief, out the window with me, you know. They, and they've decided I shouldn't have any money. They hated the idea of my doing any modeling to make my own way. And uh, as soon as I got into this, they're sending telegrams saying, oh, you've got to go, to, go model, please, just, just for a short time. And, uh, well, they're they... so horrified that it amounts to the fact that they'll endorse the modeling idea a hundred times before they dream of having to deal with this. And a word with the artist himself, Andy Warhol. Andy, why is it you're making these films? Um, well, it's just easier to do. It's easier to do than um, painting. Well, because you just 
have uh, the camera has a motor and you just turn it on and you just walk away. It just takes all by itself. Is there anything special you're trying to say in these films? Uh, no. Andy Warhol tries to say nothing and succeeds. Other filmmakers try to say a great deal, but some uninitiated viewers may find them confusing. Either way, it's a long way from Hollywood. Dave Dugan, CBS News, New York.